Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and Halo 3 has officially made it back into Halo Infinite. There's the Halo refueled playlist with a bunch of Halo 3 remakes, remixes, whatever you want to call it, bunch of new maps in the game. And while I do think this is a positive, I kind of feel like the event combined arms and it's kind of not a letdown. I just feel like maybe I was a little bit more hyped than what I should have been. And a lot of the teaser stuff we saw, you know, jackals and hunters and elites and stuff, you know, fighting with people. And I didn't know if we were going to get firefight or some type of war zone mode. I don't know. And maybe that's still coming. Maybe. But overall, you know, the maps are great. I will say that the one thing that I dislike the most is that it's AR sidekick starts and I just don't. I would have rather seen like the BR or something, you know, since the BR has been taken out of competitive, put that in this playlist. So that kind of stinks. I will say that maybe it's just me, but I feel like the skill-based matchmaking parameters in this playlist feels off the charts or maybe it's just because everybody's playing it. But man, people are going hard in this playlist. But yeah, I kept going back to uh, the the multiplayer, like, game modes and stuff. They did add ranked doubles, so that's cool. But I was just like, is there anything else? Was there a surprise drop? The Battle Pass has, you know, a $500 coding called Grey Hunter, if you want that. It does look good, I won't lie. Um, but I don't, I don't think it's worth 500 credits or $5 or whatever you want to, you know, call it. Um, I will say that I feel like leveling up the Battle Pass is a little bit slower. And the rewards are nice. It's nice to see that they, they haven't forgotten about Rasha Kasha Sha Sha, which is probably my favorite core, to be completely honest. The shop also bumping, you know, it's a new event, so they got to put out, you know, new stuff, but they finally sold Papaya Dusk. I am actually very happy about that. It just thinks that you have to buy the Super Bundle to get it, and that is not cool. But yeah, all in all, I... I I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't feel like I'm let down or anything. It's just I wanted a little bit more. I was really hoping with all the teases of like the PVE enemies that we were going to get something else. But we'll see. You know, the event lasts for a long time. I think it's 34 days from today. And maybe Firefight will release with this just because, um, you know, it, it lasts so long. It's a month long. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you feel if you're, you know, excited, kind of, you know, meh, like me right now. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm grinding away towards 15,000 subs and we're, we're doing great. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you around the ring. Peace!